everything you need to know about NASA Perseverance Rover. We all know about man being a curious animal who wants to figure everything out. Someone who would go to an extent to figure things out. From inventing a light bulb for being able to work at night to creating rockets to explore what is beyond Earth. Today we are looking for new ways to explore life. Multiple options to life in case Earth gets destroyed and these options are not only those seen in cartoons. Scientists have been working on this since ages, taking all the factors necessary to stay alive into their considerations. The air composition, water availability, food availability, and much more. In order to carry out these explorations and study different environments, space missions have been carried out on Moon and Mars. Recently, NASA is planning to send a Perseverance rover to Mars in order to explore it. This is According to Science, and today we are going to tell you everything you need to know about NASA Perseverance rover. So how exactly did space exploration start, and why do we need to explore Mars? For years, different countries have been trying to prove themselves as a stronger alternatives and human beings have been venturing into space since October 4, 1957, when the Union of Soviet Specialist Republics USSR, launched Sputnik for the first time. The competition between different superpowers like America and Russia grew stronger after that, and both countries started sending space exploration satellites and crafts to have more information than the other. The Sputnik satellite was able to send out beeps from a radio transmitter, and after reaching space, Sputnik orbited Earth once every 96 minutes, sending constant information to the natives. A month later, the Russians managed to send another venture to the space with a dog named Lilla, while the Americans had failed to send a satellite into the space twice already. On January 31, 1958, U.S. sent its first satellite into space, and this is how the space exploration ventures started sending us all the information we need about the world and outer space today. Coming to Mars, Mars has been known to host the existence of microbes once. The dry, dusty planet we know today as Mars was very different back in time. Humanity's latest rover is making a beeline for an area of Mars that was once home to a lake, a perfect place to look for signs of ancient microbes, thus meaning that life could be possible on Mars in case if Earth collapses, which it would if we don't stop harming it in every possible way. Being closer to Earth than other planets make it more feasible for us to study the planet as evidence suggests that Mars was once full of water, warmer, and had a thicker atmosphere, offering a potentially habitable environment. The mission is planned to last for at least one Mars year, which means it'll take about 687 days on Earth because it takes longer for Mars to complete its orbit around the Sun. However, NASA has a good track record with extending its robotic Mars missions. We can look to the long-lived Opportunity and Curiosity rovers as role models for this. This is where the space rover comes into the scene. So, what will the Perseverance rover do? In order to reduce the cost of exploration, humans sent robots instead of an alive human who would need a lot more facilities such as food, clothing, oxygen supply, excretory facilities, etc. Another very important thing to consider are the hazardous situations a human could face over there, which is why it is important to send a rover to detect all sorts of hazards and study the living conditions first. While the samples gathered by these very robots could be very useful to evaluate the location of potential resources for future human explorers and how to exploit them. How does a Perseverance rover work and gather all the information? A new rover is to be launched by July 30th, and as we know about the advancements in technology since the last few decades, this rover is new and improved with all the facilities required to carry out the mission in peace. Perseverance will do a lot more than just taking images of Mars. Some of the key mission objectives include looking for signs of ancient microbial life on Mars, collection of Martian rock and dust samples, to study them in depth once they are brought back to Earth, delivery of an experimental helicopter, and studying the climate and geology of Mars. The latest Perseverance rover includes an advanced drill that has the ability to collect core samples of the most promising rocks and soils 
and set them aside in tubes on the Martian surface using a strategy called depot caching. Caching demonstrates a new rover capability of gathering, storing, and preserving samples. This activity would help scientists study the samples in laboratories with special room size equipment that would be too large to take to Mars. The mission also includes carrying out experiments to find a method of producing oxygen from the Martian atmosphere and identifying other resources such as subsurface water, improving landing techniques, and characterizing weather, dust, and other potential environmental conditions that could affect future astronauts living and working on Mars. There have been previous missions on Mars to find the probability of life and study the planet. However, with advancement in time and technology, every consecutive mission has improved than the previous one. The first rover sent to Mars was back in 2011, whereas before that, orbiters were sent there to study the environment. The Mars 2020 mission improvements in the landing system include a parachute, decent vehicle, and an approach called a sky crane maneuver for lowering the rover safely on a tether to the surface during the final seconds prior to landing. This type of safe landing system makes it easier to land a very large, heavy rover on the surface of Mars in a more precise landing area that wasn't exactly possible earlier. The Mars 2020 mission adds a new EDL technology that means entry, descent, and landing technologies. Another advancement, TRN, Terrain Relative Navigation, is a form of advanced technology that is present for the safety of the rover. It allows the rover to detect and avoid hazardous terrain by diverting around it during its descent through the Martian atmosphere. A microphone allows engineers to analyze entry, descent, and landing. It might also capture sounds of the rover at work, which would provide engineers with constant updates about the rover's health and operations. Technologies used for surface operation include a long-range mobility system allowing it to travel on the surface of Mars over a distance of 5 to 20 kilometers. The rover designed for 2020 exploration has a new, more capable wheel design, among other improvements such as the drill mentioned earlier. The Perseverance rover helps prepare for future human exploration of Mars with an advanced technology for extracting oxygen from the Martian atmosphere which is 96% carbon dioxide. This demonstration of new technology helps mission planners test ways of using Mars natural resources to support human explorers and improve designs for life support, transportation, and other important systems for making survival possible on Mars. With such an advanced method of exploring Mars, there are many challenges the scientists will have to face. One of NASA's most expensive space exploration with a total cost estimate of $2.46 billion. The biggest problem that NASA could face is the cost limits exceeding for this mission, which would affect other space missions. Landing on Mars will be tested numerous times before sending the first crew to step on the planet and achieve a successful tenure. Scientists have to be more careful about the power supply and maintenance of the rover to avoid any problems during the mission. The process would be difficult and require constant monitoring, however, once it becomes successful, man will literally find a new life on a completely new planet. Human space exploration has always been dangerous at all levels, as after the passage of more than 50 years of humans traveling from Earth to space, the risk of spaceflight is still similar to that of climbing Mount Everest. The environment of Mars is pretty harsh to establish human life where a small mistake or accident can result in large failure, injury, and death. Every component must work perfectly and efficiently to make survival possible because otherwise human life will be at a great risk. However, with future advances in technology, shared experience between different space agency, what was once an impossible task has become easier and would become a routine, making space travel more viable. According to the plan, the first crew of four astronauts is said to land on Mars in 2025 with an exchange of a whole new crew consisting of four members every two years if this space mission is successful and scientists find a way to make life on Mars more livable. From the basics about the rover to advanced technology used to risk and probable challenges that could be faced by humans on the planet, we give you a complete insight on the subject. Will human life actually be possible there? How long will it take to settle on the planet comfortably? Well, 
We can only get another step closer to this information after the success of this rover launch on 30th of July. If this mission becomes successful, it would be a huge milestone covered by humans towards better facilitated life. Earth must be saved, but this is just an alternative in case if Earth collapses and we have no choice left. If you like this video, then don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to stay up to date for more interesting videos in the future.